So this is the kind of thing that you want to see before you make a thousand mile trip. What is this? Inspection in six days. What's cracking guys? I'm just in my car trying to clean it from inside. Prepping it for the trip. So in a week's time, I'll be traveling to Poland to attend a wedding. One of a good friend is um, getting married. Everything's booked. Venue looks brilliant. Place should be really good. So we booked the days off and everything. Um, I think we actually booked two weeks off. We decided to take our car because I think it's, it's a lot more easier to drive over there rather than getting a plane. And for us to make sense to go by a car because we'll be traveling to Lithuania after wedding is done. So we have booked a hotel in Germany to spend the night and we have also booked a hotel in Poland because I think it's going to be um, easier to take some rest in Germany and drive further to Poland. We have driven directly to Poland um, in the past uh, but I think it's just really hectic and plus we'll be traveling with the baby so I think it's going to be more easier if you stay in, in Germany for the night and then carry on um, traveling to Poland. But there's a tiny problem! Any problem that I still don't have visa. So let's go back three weeks ago. No, actually, I think four weeks ago. Um, yeah, about well, I think about five weeks ago. I knew that I'm gonna have to get a visa because after Brexit, everything's fucked. Even though I'm settled in the UK, apparently I still need a visa to go enter in EU because I think it's um I think I need a um, Schengen visa. So the first point of entry is gonna be France. So what I thought that we're gonna to need to apply a Schengen visa in French embassy. So about four weeks ago, I did all the boring stuff about filling forms, taking photos, getting all the paperwork ready for the visa. And I booked an appointment for this Schengen visa and the visa office is in Manchester. I did a quick Google search. And apparently it's the worst rated visa center to get you get your appointment really everyone's complaining about waiting for three hours horrible customer service but hey i've never been there before so i was kind of open-minded and and i just wanted to go take things myself so on the day of appointment um i left house dead early and my plan was to go to manchester stay in cafe all day finish my work go to the appointment go back to cafe you finish all the work go back home so my appointment was around one o'clock i think so when i entered i immediately know that why people are complaining about this one I've, I'm, i mean it is a bit bit silly stuff really i think the whole system is a bit outdated because this woman on the reception she wrote like eight digit number on the tiniest piece of paper and gave it to me and said you just need to wait until your number appears on the screen basically and you're not supposed to use your mobile phone as well so i wait i wait i wait and at this point i just wanted to finish work and go back home because i knew it's going to be a long day my number finally appears on the screen and little did i know that i messed up on the visa form so i go to this woman um to give all my documents and the first thing she points out sir your name is wrong on the on the form and I was like, what the f***? And it was not wrong, apparently. It's, it's not even my mistake. I mean, you could say it's my mistake, but on the form it says given names. And I just wrote my first name as usual. And on my passport, my given names is basically my first name and my dad's name. And she just wanted to see my dad's name on the on the form. And she tells me that I have to wait for another day just to book an appointment. And at this point in stage, she's not even sure that you, you can get an, a quick, and, what, what was the earliest appointment you can get. So I went home, drank four beers and slept. So next day, I managed to get an appointment within the next two days. So now it is 6.30 in the morning. And we're heading back to Manchester again for second visa appointment. Hopefully this time we have filled everything correctly and everything should be as planned. And we got like 22 days until the journey. And I really hope that I get visa in time because we're cutting it really close. So today's plan is to drive to Manchester, find a coffee shop, but it is going to be really early in the morning and start work and get the visa appointment done and head back to nottingham it is almost seven o'clock in the evening so i finally managed to 
submit the visa documents and it only took me one hour 45 minutes it only took them 10 minutes to get the documents sign everything off take my fingerprints and that was about it and because of that coffee shop was closed i've been here almost um three hours um working on my laptop in a car but to work you you gotta work so at this point in stage all i have to do is just wait and hope for the best so last week I received an email, I was over the moon, it said they rejected my application because apparently you have to apply in the Lithuanian embassy because I'm staying there the longest during the time of my holiday. Rejected. So basically Schengen visa is a visa that allows you to travel in any European country as long as they are part of the Schengen zone. But as per my understanding, you have to apply for the French embassy because that's the first point of entry. So it makes sense to apply to the French embassy and then they grant you visa to be in Europe. But apparently that's not the case. Rejected. So in one week, we go to Poland and I have no visa, but we are still going to try to enter eu so until brexit they they would let us in without any questions asked but after brexit i think they started asking people um to apply for a visa um for for some reason i don't know but but last year they let us in even though i had no visa um as per the old um eu regulations they they was um they were letting people in but this time around, I think it's going to be a bit of a gamble, but we are hoping they would let us in because nothing's been changed really. All the documents are the same. So we're basically going to turn up on the French border and explain the situation that that we tried to get the the, uh, the correct visa, but apparently there was no time and there was like, lots of confusion between the countries. So we are hoping that they would let us in and we'll see how it goes. So I think next week you will know if I'm going to be in Europe or not.